All right, everybody. So we'll be starting EA Sports PGA Tour home of the majors. Um, it literally just launched. I was able to um, get off of work basically at a half day. It just so happened we had a half day today. Um, so that was really, really nice. Um, and just wanted to see what they had here. It looks like there's virtual currency, but that's the same with 2K, you know? And if it stays just at this, I think we'll have a good time. Let's hit it. Road to the Masters. So I'm pretty excited. I do feel like... Um, EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey, there we go. They still say it. I do feel like both games will have pros and, and cons. I don't think there's going to be one better. Or one that, you know, is... Uh, you know, this is the one you got to play. I feel like if you're a big fan of golf, you're going to play both. That was really cool, to be Welcome honest. To EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. Nick Faldo. I'm Sir Nick, and this is the Road to the Masters. I like Nick Faldo. Of course. Oh my God! Is there a faster way to do? Okay, I can just accept. <laughs> it was going down so slow. Uh Okay, tooltips enabled, menu narration. Before we head out to the course, let's create your golfer. Well, I am a white guy, so I guess we'll go with this one. First name created. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> forgot to erase that one. Creative Golfer was our original name. I'm 28. I'll be 29 next month, though. Ugh. Getting there, you know. United States pronouns, he, him. I don't care. What do we have? She, her, they, them? Okay. Not Florida. Uh. I won't say where I live, but. Virginity. That's where I live. <laughs> It's the virgin, yeah, it's right. That's so funny. <laughs> That's the way it comes up. That's the state I live in. Okay, let's create them. So, our eye color. What? Oh, we're at face, okay. Okay, so we create a face, or we pick a face, I should say. Uh, that one seems alright, that's a... oh well. That's probably more my brother's face. This guy's got bug eyes, uh... Little face.
Man, some of these dudes' eyes are just weird. I feel like that's fine, actually. So, are we- can we- oh my god. That's a weird head. I don't know, that one seems okay. These pictures are awful, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to... Eye color... Green. No, I am the very boring Hazel. Alright, body type 2. Oh, just one and two? Okay. I'm pretty, th I'm pretty thin. So. Hairstyle. Oh my god. I would say right now my hair, right now my hair's short. Uh, it was long, very long. I don't like a lot of these hairstyles, I'll be honest. Color? No, my hair is actually, uh... My hair is brown. Facial hair? Actually, that's, uh... Go with that one. Facial hair color is different. That's black. Eyebrows. I don't care. Doesn't really look like me, but I don't care. We don't care about the character creation too much. Swing animation. So we have balanced. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, so we got balanced. In and out. Which, I have a natural, like, draw. So that would technically be... My swing type would be an in and out. Because um, that's how you draw the ball. And then we have a sweep. We'll go with in and out. Swing style. So hand in this right, yes. Ball trajectory medium. Choose your golfer's de golfer's default ball traje trajectory. Sorry, I can't talk. Medium, high, or low. I would say I'm more on the medium. I've been actually getting a lot better at that though. Um I it used to be low. Like when I my first 10 years of playing golf, it was probably really low. Preferred shot type, is, my shot type is a draw, except for my driver for some reason. So, accuracy is boosted when hitting shots using your golfer's preferred shot shape. So we hit more draws, we have better accuracy. A fade, okay, draw fade. Oh, you have to pick one. You can't just be straight. Okay. Swing tempo normal. Customize your golfer's ideal swing tempo. How quickly you move the swing stick back and through. So it's it's very slow originally in the videos. So I feel like a faster one would help me either faster or fastest. Um, I don't feel I have the fastest swing though, so I'll go faster. I do have a faster swing. Course management balanced. 
Choose how your golfer handles course management and experiences where they are controlled by the CPU. Conservative, balanced. I, I feel like I'm pretty aggressive. Okay, I'm making sh I'm just making sure that it's it kept everything. Caddy. Oh, you can't choose a lady? Like 2K? Well, that's a win for 2K in in my book. <laughs> I don't know. Very old guy. That guy's looking creepy. His smile. I pick him, but his smile is. So their smiles are weird. Let's choose that guy. Yeah, I think that's good. Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour, the exclusive home of major championship golf. You'll be able to compete in the world's top amateur championships, including the Augusta National Women's Amateur and the US Amateur, before you graduate to the PGA Tour and take part in the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Okay, so conquer the top amateur championships, including... Yeah, he just said that. Powered by official PJ Tour shot link and trackman data, Pure Strike allows for unique golf swings with a fluid feel. Pure Strike combines golfer specific tendencies with unique course dynamics and ball behavior for the premier golf gameplay experience. And that's really, really cool. Um, so I, I'm putting an addition on. My dad and uncle are actually building it onto my house. And. I'm gonna do my. I'm gonna have to save up money, of course, after I do it because the addition costs so damn much. Um, but I want to put like a, a little simulation in in that area where I can hit basically and not have to go to the range uh, because for some reason my golf course upped the bucket of ball price by four dot like it's twelve dollars for a large bucket, and half the golf balls are crap. They're so scuffed or have uh, slices in them, like cracks. Some of them are waterlogged, they look like. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that, and I can't, I can't wait. As your golf game improves, so does your path to becoming a major champion with unified RPG progression. You'll create and customize a golfer, then develop your skills so you can master each course and learn to attack every hole like a professional. Hell yes. The tee is yours at 30 of the world's most exclusive courses, all designed in photorealistic quality with frostbite, so you can immerse yourself in the visual beauty of some of the sport's most pristine bucket list courses. So... That's amazing, and the courses do look amazing. Um, I will say, and I don't think games are going to get it right for a very long time, but grass, like this grass right here, just looks odd. Um, it looks real fuzzy, and as you can see on the rocks and stuff, it just looks weird, but I honestly don't think video games are going to be able to get that right for quite a while, At you know, especially because it would just tax your hardware so much. Um to get that Customize visually your experience right. By selecting from a number of different gameplay styles, including arcade, pro, tour, and sim, or design a custom style to create your ideal experience. He's got the tailor made Stealth 2 driver. I want to use the Stealth so bad, and I'm going to be honest, it's just because I love the way the head of that club looks. I love the black and red of it, the red face. I, I don't know. I love it. Select your gameplay preferences here. So my, the swing mechanic for me, left stick, that's what I use. I've used it ever since I want to say, oh my god, when did I first playing the play the Tiger Woods games? My first one was I, I, 04, I think. 
Um, but I didn't play it in 04. I was 10. I might have. No. I think 06 was my f was when I started playing. So ever since 2006, I've used Left Stick. So Gameplay Style Pro. Configures all of your below gameplay settings to recommended values for each type of gameplay experience. Arcade, perfect for players who are new to golf. Pro, a balanced experience recommended for most players. Tour, for advanced players looking for a challenge. Simulation, an immersive hardcore simulation experience or custom. Customize options to create your ideal experience. So I think what we're going to do is start on tour. What does that do? Okay, so good. It turns off assisted aim. What does putt read? We'll find out. Uh, putting difficulty, power boost, spin, good, that's all off. Swing difficulty, normal. How difficult it is to execute a selected swing mechanic? Easy, most forgiving swing difficulty. Normal, standard tuning for gameplay factors. Hard, requires the most precision to yield positive results on the course. I kind of want to go hard. We'll try it out. Swing meter. Displays the path and length of the swing around the golfer. On. Shows the swing path and location of the backswing where the downswing should be triggered to hit it where you are aimed. Off. No swing meter displays. So when we start, I'm going to play with it on just to get used to the full length of a 100% shot. Power boost. Spin control is off. Shot shaping. Impacts the exe ex execution of the swing mechanic for shots that have draw or fade applied. On, the swing path requires an angled backswing. Off, the swing path is always straight up and straight down. <sighs> See, I don't know about that because it was always really weird when you have to angle the swing stick. But I'll keep it on for now. Lie effect, zoom, aiming arc. Displays the expected ball flight based on shot setup and environmental factors such as wind slope and lie. Short arc shows the apex of ball flight. Full arc shows the entire ball flight until first collision. Off, no arc is displayed. I'm not sure. I wish it would have a little demonstration up there. So I'll keep it short, I guess. Putting aim point presets the aim marker to a specific distance when putting. Assisted aim accounts for uphill and downhill slope to preset the aim marker to a log logical distance for the putt. At cup presets the aim marker to just past the cup location. I'm good with that. Putt read off. Yes. Putting grid on. Um... Yes, wind gusts, wind reading, elevation, auto tap in, mulligans. Okay. That's it. Now take a minute to look around or select quick play to get out to the course. Uh, this is the main menu, the central hub of the game. It has multiple tabs, each one containing a different part. Why do you have a tooltip for this? Okay, um, let's play a round. Quick play is where you can play a round of golf for fun or to work on your technique at your own pace. You are free to play solo or with friends in local multiplayer. Play stroke play. Course fit shows how your golfer compares to each course. The green bar indicates how much each of your skills will be tested by the course. So course in me we suck at everything except for maybe driving we're okay yet <laughs> that's pretty cool so that's Augusta Pebble Beach the ocean course Keel Island South Carolina TPC Sawgrass St. Andrews East Lake Bay Hill TPC Scottsdale Quail Hollow Liberty National, this one would be best for us, you know, it's a 
Even though it's 7,400 yards. Jesus. Tory Pines, Whistling Straits, TPC Boston, the Riviera Country Club, Chambers Bay, TPC Southwind, Bandon Dunes. Driving, we're right there at, you know, Evian Resort, Top of the Rock, Wilmington Country Club, PGA West, Terra Iti, in New Zealand. Cool. Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Oh, Harbor Town. I was looking at <laughs> the Country Club, Massachusetts. Bamp Springs, Southern Hills, Wolf Creek. That's cool. Lighthouse Point, Wetlands, and Teeth of the Dog. At, in the Dominion, Domin, Do, Dominican Republic. A Pete Dye signature course, Teeth of the Dog is carved from the rock and coral of the Dominican coastline, featuring seven holes along the ocean. I'll tell you what. Let's play that one. All 18. We're going to be playing me. We're at 67. Scotty Scheffler, Patrick Cantley. These are everybody they have. Xander Shoffley. So number one in the world right now has the best stats. Makes sense. Uh, Tony Finau. Dustin Johnson. So they have DJ Dustin Johnson. Of course, all their contracts and stuff is when they were in, still in live. So, or when before they were in live. Nelly Corda. Sun J M. That's cool that they they've got Sun J in here. Joaquin Neiman. He went over to live as well. Hideki Matsuyama. Jordan Spieth. Lexi Thompson. Who uh, we'll go through after. Bryson DeChambeau. Didn't think he would be in the game. His power is almost at max. Jin Young Ko. I don't know who she is. Brooks Kepka is in here, also in Liv. Bryson in Liv. Danielle Kang, don't know who she is. Jessica Corda, I guess Nelly's sister. Jason Day. Harold Varner III, also in Liv. Bubba Watson, who's in Liv. There's a lot of Liv players. Abraham Answer, who's in Liv. Cameron Champ. Ian Poulter, who's in Liv. Look at those pants. And that's it. Um, so they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have eight players who's in live. Oh, they have, I think they have more live people than. They almost have more live people than they have regular, <laughs> or than they have, well technically they have more live than PGA, because of the LPGA. Okay, so let's go to the round settings, black, I'm guessing that's the furthest back, it's not really telling me, everything's on tournament, long, wind speed. Can I have, oh god. Let's go six to nine, play a little bit of wind. We can't have this just randomized. That sucks. What is course preview? Oh, that's really cool. They have all this. That's really cool. Quests. This is the quest screen. It displays all, displays all of your current active quests. Here are your active quests. Complete quest chapters to earn chapter rewards and complete the entire quest to earn a special quest reward. Which are the points, I'm guessing. Pinned quests will be displayed in the main menu and scorecard screen so you can closely track their progress. Only one quest can be pinned at a time. Okay. That's really cool. So all this stuff is tournament based. Oh, oh, yes. I'm in the career tab. No wonder, moron.
That is awesome. Let's go ahead and start our round. Oh, golf bag. Let's look at it. Oh, I guess I can't. We have to go to the pro shop or something. I never, I don't know what Teeth of the Dog is, but hey, we're playing. Now from the southern coast of the Dominican Republic, EA Sports brings you the world of golf from the scenic Teeth of the Dog course at the Casa de Campo Resort. Fritz Werner joined up in the booth by Frank Navalo. Frank does nothing like it early tea time to get the adrenaline flowing. And also too, you know, the golf course is perfect, you know, less divots, um, you don't see any sort of marks on the green, greens are going to putt beautifully. There's also, you know, there's a, the course is a little bit softer, it's got the moisture from overnight, um, and also, you know, when they've cut the golf course, there's that really green, fresh smell, like it's brand new. Uh, zoom out to your target with triangle, adjust your aim with that. How to aim. On perfectly executed shots, the ball will land somewhere inside this area, not accounting for elevation, wind, and lie. Okay, so that's cool. They have a little blimp looking shadow. Awesome. We have drive, punch. Oh, we just have drive and punch. We haven't unlocked that power drive. So let's check out what we got. We got the 10 degree driver, a 3 wood, a 3 iron. That's what I have, a 3 wood and a 3 hybrid, but 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Pitching wedge, 50 degree, 54, 60. Okay. So, let's look at this ball. Ooh, I like this, okay. Okay, so we can't go past this box. Interesting. Not to hit. Oh, how to swing. Uh, start the swing by pulling straight down on LS until the golfer reaches full power. Finish the swing by pushing straight up on LS. Keep your swing path in the white channel to hit your shot accurately. The further outside the white ch the channel you are, the more miss hit will be applied to the final shot. Under swinging, over swinging, and moving the stick forward too fast or slow will also apply a miss hit to your final shot. Okay. Can we take a practice swing? Uh, yes. Is this a practice swing? Oh god, it's so slow. Oh my god, this is going to be weird. That was a decent one. So we see we do we have to go left to right with that. I think I might turn that off. Um because I don't like that. So let's see if we can do it here. Okay, now let's take a practice swing. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, I like that. And he can pick the tee up quickly on that one. That is right down the middle to get the round started. Man, this does not look like me. <laughs> Welcome when can I back the ball? Let's flight. bring in Nota Begay the third. 145 left to the hole. Wind definitely hurting in his face. They sound a little bit weird, do they not? Oh, I like this. I don't know if I really like that it tells me exactly where it's going to go. 
maybe we'd have to play on harder settings. But the wind 8 mile an hour in our face. Um, it's downhill 5 feet though. Um, do we have a. We don't have a knockdown, unfortunately. Ooh. Let's go with a high draw. But now it's downhill. Let's go with a high draw. Well, we had a, a lot of overswing. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. We did the right thing, but the overswing made us go a little far. A green in regulation, so birdie chance. He has a 12-footer here. A good rule of thumb is to adjust your aim one foot longer for every inch. Okay, of uphill elevation, the assisted putting aim point setting will automatically make this adjustment for you. We don't want that. So one foot longer for every inch uphill and downhill, I'm guessing. When the putting grid is enabled, you can use the speed and direction of the beads to gauge how much the putt will turn left or right and the relative speed of the putt. The swing, yes, okay. So, it's uphill. Oh, well, it's level. I didn't hit it. Oh, it broke a lot. Okay. Uh, a little Damn tentative it. there, and that'll come up short. I know I didn't hit it. So he'll tap in for his par, a solid one at that, to get his round underway. This second hole's a good chance to get an early birdie on the board, provided you hit a good tee shot. 275 yard poke covers that trouble on the left. If you do that, you have a nice angle into this green and a chance to make a three. And we'll probably only play a few holes, maybe five or something like that. Um. just you know get comfortable with it and all that kind of thing so carried only 222 man we we're short second shot coming up let's bring in Iona Steven 124 left to the flag stick and that wind it's coming from right to left so you might need to start this a little bit to the right hand side whoops I think just a normal shot right here should work. Oh, overswing again. Oh wow, it's going way left. Wow, that nine mile an hour. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. Shot types, L1, R1, yes, I already knew this. Um, we're three degrees above, so we're aiming a little bit left. Ooh, too much. Oh my. <laughs> so that one, Frank, came out way too hot. Just yeah. goes to show what happens when you don't find these greens in regulation. Now, he's looking at two putts. Maybe yeah, three I three from where he is. Not three, jackass. Oh wow! Didn't really break as much as I thought. there but it is 
Jason Bolton here at two. That's going to drop him to plus one. Well, this third hole is another good scoring opportunity. Par five and just a little bit more than 500 yards, so not terribly long. It is obviously reachable in two, and it is also your first real ocean view of the round. You're going to enjoy it even more if you make that birdie or eagle. I wanted to save, like, the whole previews and stuff for when we're actually playing in tournaments and stuff so that it's not, uh, we're not too used to it by then. Had that 2.7% overswing, baby. Because we can't drive it anywhere. Good shot coming off bogey at the second. That's going to be in the fairway. He's happy. It's a little bit below our feet, so it'll go off to the right. Whoops. That wind. I tried to get over swing to get it there. We didn't quite, but Ooh, it's a good shot. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Okay, so we have pitch, chip, flop. I feel like the good flop, it's, you know, it's 19-yard flop. It's 22-yard flop, but with the wind and it's uphill, this should be good. Still some overswing. Here we go, seven-footer for birdie. Yeah, good speed right there. First birdie of the round here at the third. He bounces back from the bogey on two to get back to level par. This is a good par four right here, 500 yards really thereabouts. And you can see the ocean on your right, and that's a theme throughout the day. You want to see the ocean. You want to enjoy the ocean. You don't want to be in the ocean, at least while you're playing this round. We'll hit a fade into the wind so that it kind of tries to stay there. Fade's not a strong suit, so it could be a miss hit coming up. Nope, it was perfect. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Somehow carried it further than the draw we hit. But I might have got some more overswing. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. It's a little bit below our feet, but the wind going left. This is a full shot. It's downhill, but I think this is fine. Um... We'll hit it a little bit high, I think. Ah, I didn't mean the overswing. But it's good. That four iron, it's not gonna stop. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Okay, whoops. Chip with a seven iron, what? Chip with the sand, uh, chip with the sand wedge. Get in the hole. Yeah! Ah, yes! The touch, excellent there from behind the green, and that one goes down for an <laughs> unlikely birdie. And now our first par three of the day, the fifth. Oh, this Good is mix of holes to start gorgeous. the round. You see the ocean on the left, and, and the green looks tiny <laughs> sitting next to that Caribbean. It is a really small target here. This is an excellent challenge. 
Okay, we got the wind helping into the right, so... It's downhill, but it's not downhill enough to go down a club where he's in our 8 iron. Nah, I hit a little hard. Not bad though. This is a tiny green. Okay, that's safe, but he'll be putting from the other side of the green. Look here at Birdie. Going Very left nice first, then right. Slightly downhill with just a slight move from left to right. I don't think I hit it. Yeah, didn't hit it and didn't. I should have moved it a little further. Very nicely done. But. We'll go ahead and quit. That was. That was fun. That was. Okay, so. Whoops. Not in the store. See more details about it. Featured. Oh, that's pretty cool. If you want that stuff. We have 5,000 credits. Oh, okay. They have the pro specs and stuff. Cobra. These two are my favorites. I don't know what a ticket is. Skill system. Welcome to the skill screen. In this section you can explore the different skill areas in which your golfer can improve. Each skill has 10 nodes that can be unlocked by spending skill points. By unlocking certain combinations of nodes you can learn new shot types that will give you access to unique shots out on the course. Course fit. Uh, describe the strengths and weaknesses of your golfer. Match your strength to that of the course you are playing to maximize your chances of success. Okay, I don't think we have any. Yeah, we have zero. Customize all your equipment. Acquire new items and other editing options by earning rewards or purchasing from the store. All items you own are available for all your golfers to use. Select and edit your bag. This contains your bag, your clubs, and your golf ball. You are always required to carry a driver, a putter, a ball, and 12 additional clubs of your choice. Select the bag node to edit the visual components of your bag, including its design, strap, head covers, towel, and club swing VFX. Club to edit it. These are the yardage stats for each club in your bag. Copy all the items from your bag and paste them into another bag loadout. Cool. Oh, we only have this bag. Oh, we do have a couple of straps. There's white. White orange. Towel. Customize the different parts of your club or ball through the available options. Swap the club equipment specs 
to change the performance of your club or ball. Okay, we don't have anything at the moment, so select one of your one of the options available to customize your club. Any item in your inventory can be used on multiple clubs of that same type across all of your bags for all of your created golfers. Okay, well, no, we're not going to be doing any of that now because we don't have anything. Outfits. Um, if I have short hair, I don't really wear any hats, so... We don't have any hats anyway. Oh, that is too bright of a white for me. Man, these EA gloves suck. Oh, you can, wow, you can change your belt buckle? That's hilarious. My identity was stolen. Okay. So. We have career, competitive challenges, take on a variety of unique challenges, social, meet players in low stakes online games, tournaments, compete solo in online tournaments, and private match. Build your legacy. Where do you want to begin your career? So we're gonna start in the USGA RNA thing. Start your career in an American am American in an amateur championship where you'll have a chance to earn a coveted invitation to play in the Masters and the US Open. Finish your amateur career in Q School where you'll compete for a spot on the Corn Ferry Tour. So we have the USGA, US Amateur Championship, at Bandon Dunes Golf Resort, Bandon, Oregon. It's the US Amateur. You have the Augusta National Women's Amateur. You have, which is only 85 in the field, this one, all the rest are 120. RNA, the Amateur Championship. The Old Course at St. Andrews. That one's for, of course, from the UK, United Kingdom, yeah. The Asia Pacific Amateur Tour at Terra ET Golf Club in New Zealand. And then you have the Latin America Amateur Championship at Teeth of the Dog in the, D uh, at the Dominican Republic. I almost want to say Dominion for some reason. So we'll start in the USA. Because, oh, well, that's what we are. AI scoring, let's put them, let's start it at 75 and see how it is. I don't want quick rounds. Um, this was in Rory, which by the way I have not played. I meant to finish all the Tiger Woods in the, and the Rory game before this came out, but I got too damn busy. Um, but you play quick rounds, only a few rounds and then it's simulated. No. Full or quick, we'll do full. Why is there this asterisk around it? Round type. Full. FedEx Cup playoff events. Full. Oh, this is just for everything. Okay. Welcome to the amateur season. Complete the following to advanced. Complete the amateur championship. Bonus. Win the amateur championship to qualify for the Masters and the US Open. Finish Q School inside the top 40 to qualify for the Corn Ferry Tour. Current event. Play the current event in your season schedule. Training and challenges. You can access additional training and challenges 
and challenge events to help level up your golfer's abilities as well as unlock new items and equipment. Rankings and stats. Track your golfer's rankings and statistics as you progress through your career. Season timeline. You can enter a fully interactive schedule where you can review the results of completed events and preview upcoming events in the current season. Okay. So let's do some challenges because we're already at 50 minutes. Um, let's do some challenges and then I'll stop the video and I'll make another, I'll start another one where we do this. Um, so we have peach, okay. Challenge subcategory. Select one of several subcategories to see all the challenges in that subcategory. So there's 108 in PGA coaching. Um, there's 9 in track man and then 63 in PGA uh, coach skills trainer. Uh, challenge sequences. This is a sequence. The progress bar denotes how many stars you've earned across the entire sequence. Each sequence has one or more rewards. Unlock rewards by earning enough stars in that particular sequence. Okay, so earn stars in this sequence to unlock these reward packs. So 10 stars, XP, 20 XP, 30 XP, okay. 17 from here and you get, we'll just say uh, experience. No, that's, cause that's XP, I don't know. Money, I have no idea. Um, so learn the basics of the golf swing. Get one pharaoh in regulation, get two, get all five. Let's do it. Each challenge has up to three stars. Earn stars by completing the objective on each challenge. Let's do it. Pebble Beach. Is that where we're at? Because the courses look really good, they got good music, I don't mind watching those every time. It's kind of, it's nice. We're going to have it on the first hole, the dog leg. I keep using the right stick to move it. Do we have to use our driver? Because this would be kind of tough. Oh, this is our three wood. Let's use our four iron. It would just be a little tough to get the three wooden driver in that little spot of the uh, fairway. Star power. Quick, give me the driver. So this is obviously going to be, um, a little slow boring part, we have to hit five of these. So I know the overswing is, you know, when you go past that little bar that it has. What is a slow? Is it, Does that mean I'm not swinging my, um my stick fast enough forward because we're at the fast one because I'm, I'm swinging it forward pretty fast I guess we can see real quick 
Because this is the last one. No, I guess it's, that's not it. I don't know what the slow is. Okay. So we got all, all the fairways. We got three stars. Did we get anything for that? What are the, th did we get, I don't know. T to green, making putts. Let's do our approach shots. Land five balls on the green. Five point four degrees below our feet. That's where that one goes. It's uphill, so it's okay. If it goes that wind isn't really gonna be a factor. Oh look at that. What? Why did it go left? There's no wind. The ball should be going to the right. Can we restart it? Because it's super easy. I don't understand why. Maybe because it was the underswing and a slow. No, the underswing just means you didn't hit. Um, just means you didn't hit it hard enough. See, why is it going so far left? That was even slower. That went dead straight, though. Hmm. Was my, um... Swing stick going left. I didn't even look at that. Oh, what if we get in the hole? That should count as four. Whoops, shot shaping. I know. Why are you telling me this now? Did I hit something? Oh, stay on. Okay, so let's do enough to get 10 and just see what happens. So we need to do two more. only five so well okay so now now the lie wants to do something what was that before why was the lie not doing anything
because it's the wind is just into us. It's not um, it's not going the other way. Hmm. Stop. Why? Why are you so... Jesus. Oh my god. What? Where are we starting? Why is it coming all the way off the green? Can I change my t shot type? Maybe that's why. That approach. Let's eh. do a low one, see what happens. Okay, it might be a little less spin right there. Come on. What? I guess I'm gonna have to go up a club, even though all I want to do is just land it on there. Um, I don't get why they're spinning back so much, though. Because we, you can't manually put spin on it, I don't think. Um... Oops, I keep doing that. So if we go to the pitching wedge and dial it Oh that's all that's how far you can go, okay. Alright, so that's what we're gonna have to do. Oh, wow. Wait, I turned that off. I turned shot shaping off. Why the fuck did it? Alright, let's get out of this. It's just an XP thing. We know what it is. I'll probably do a lot of... I might do these off recording. Um, just because... You know, maybe the advanced will be interesting or something. Or maybe the track man um, and the skills trainer might be interesting. But I feel like that stuff is just super normal. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of EA Sports PGA Tour. It's just the character creation, going through tutorials and stuff, but um, I'm enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are as well. I uh, hope you join me for the next one because that'll probably up be be sorry that'll probably be up shortly after this one. So have a great day, and I'll see you. Bye.